trying to adapt in this tutorial, let's learn how to use PWN to change the emitting color of RGB LED. Before class, we prepared Raspberry Pi board, power cable, four jump wires, three 220 ohm resistors, and uh, one white RGB LED. So let's get started. It's a white RGB LED. Don't underestimate it. It can emit different colors of light. It's very gorgeous. So how does it work? Let me introduce the principle for you. The RGB LEDs consist of three LEDs. Each LED actually has one red, one green, and one blue light. These three colored LEDs are capable of producing any color. Two colored LEDs have red, green, and blue emitters. Generally use a four-wire connection with one common lead, anode or cathode. These LEDs can have either common anode or common cathode leads. What we use in this experiment is a common anode RGB LED. The longest thing is a common anode of three LEDs and is connected to the port 5V of the Raspberry Pi. And uh, the three remaining pins are connected to the GPIO of the Raspberry Pi through a 220 resistor. In this way, we can control the color of RGB LED by 3 channel PWN signal. Now let's go to Raspberry Pi terminal. First, let's check the current directory, then enter the lesson, check with LS. Now we can see the RGB.C program in the directory, it has been written before. Now open this folder. First, refer to the three headers, and then define the three pins of GPIO as GPIO 0, 1, 2. And then define the color of RGB. Here are defined 8 colors. Why do I define a glitch? Look at this picture. It's the hexadecimal color code. Then create a soft PWN. Original duty cycle, get red, green, blue value, and change duty cycle. Next, initialize the Raspberry Pi. When initialize wiring Pi field, print a message to screen, set up wiring Pi field. While loop, execute the setting color. Then save and exit. Now let's begin to connect the RGB LED with the Raspberry Pi. Plug the RGB LED in the breadboard. Then plug the three 220 ohm resistors in the three pins of the Raspberry Pi respectively. Plug these jump wires respectively into the pin RGB of the RGB LED and then insert the power cable into the longest pin insert the other ends of these three jump wires into the GPIO0, GPIO1 and the GPIO2 of the Raspberry Pi then plug the power cable into the Raspberry Pi's port 5V. Now the wiring connection is finished. Let's begin to combine the code and execute the RGB executable file. We can see the RGB LED is changing color slowly. You can change the parameters to make it change faster. Press Ctrl and C to stop the code running. Then go to the program and modify the parameters. Just change the delay of 500 milliseconds to 50 milliseconds. Then write to this and exit. 
now combine it again. Then execute. Now we can see the RGB LED is switching color with a faster frequency. After this experiment, press Ctrl and C to stop running code. Now we can see the RGB LED stops changing color and it will remain in the color in the switching. So that's the tutorial all about. In this tutorial, we have learned the RGB light principle and how to use PWN2 to, to change the imaging color of RGB LED. I hope you can use your imagination to realize cool ideas based on this tutorial. If you have any questions about this tutorial, you can leave a message on our website. We will solve it for you. So see you in the next tutorial.